Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this little deck right here. It says overpowered EX, GX, Mega, and Break. So let's say you want to show off some powerful cards to your friends. Well, now you can show off your cards with this. And you can also stack it together with multiple pieces. And it's really cool. So today I'm going to be showing you how to build that. So, for this, you're simply going to need some white copy paper, some glue, some scissors, tape if you want to. And if you're using tape, like, well, this is not necessary. Well, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is simply you're going to have to fold. You're going to have to fold this sideways, you know, just regular style or I guess some um, hot dog style, I guess. I don't know what, but like vertically, you're going to have to fold it. Then if you want to, you can use just the back of your scissors to um, like do this. But really, I like to use glue because glue is pretty fast. So once you get that, you're going to have to fold these things into like the middle part right here. You're going to have to fold it in like this. And boom. Make sure it's a little bit straight. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. But I fixed it. So now you also want to do that to the other side. You know, both sides. So once you get this, you're going to have to do the exact same thing, but to the side. I don't know what you call it, but like to the side. Uh -huh, so I think it's called a hamburger, but I'm not sure. Oh god, I accidentally messed it up. But don't worry, because you because remember this is just copy paper, it's cheap, it's replaceable. You can literally get this off of your teacher's test or or ha handouts, like you know, do nails and stuff. You can just get one of those guys and start folding it during class like this. Just don't do this during class, okay guys. Promise me don't do this during class. You're probably gonna get in trouble. Don't blame me for that. So we're approaching to an end here because, like, we're actually approaching to an end here. And so once you do something like this, you want to stand it up vertically like this. And then you want to bend, see this right here? You're going to want to bend it right on the line, like right here. It doesn't matter how much space there is right here, but you're going to have to do that. And you're going to have to do that on all four sides. Okay, guys, so once you do that, and you know you do that to like sharpen them up, what you want to do is you want to fold them inwards. And then you want to flip it around like this. And here's the hard part. You want to... Bend this backwards, but it's kind of hard to do since you bend it the other way, and it's kind of hard sometimes. But just try your best. I know it's extremely hard. My cousin tried it with me, and it, she failed every single time. She could not do this part not one time. It's just to give you an idea on um, how hard it is. So don't really worry if you mess this up. I messed this up. Right. I'm probably going to mess this up. And I just did. Wow, great. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can just do something like this. As you see, it's a little bit overlapping. So that's what you brought the scissors for. If it's overlapping a little bit, then you can just cut it off a little, 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 little bit. And see you guys when I'm done. So guys, I just finished cutting a little bit of the bo of both sides. I cut a, lot, a little bit over here. So now you want to have it sideways like this. You want to take your glue. 
you want to place glue under the flaps right here. You want to do this before you cut. Because if you do it after, I mean, because if you glue it and then cut after, your scissors are going to get all messy and stuff. So after you do that, you just put it down and wait for the glue to dry and stuff. You also put this down and, you know, like regular glue. And you put it down and essentially you're good to go because you can just grab some Pokemon cards and it just got a little step over there next to me. And so then what you can do is get your card and then put them in here. Get your card and put them in here. And you can also bend them. Should be really cool for something in my bed to show you guys. Okay, guys, so now I just build another one of these things. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to bend them both of like this. Make sure they're facing the right direction like this. Then you want to bend this and then this. And you want to put glue to the back of this. Of the first one, put glue. And then just literally glue them together like this and then for extra security this is if you want to you can just grab a little bit of your tape and wrap it around grab some um, tape put some more tape right here Oops, don't know what happened there. Didn't stick. That's 100% fine because I can just grab another piece and wrap it around. And then, yeah, if you want to just put some extra, that's fine too. Look down here. Normally, down here is a pretty good spot to put them at. And then. Some tape just right here, and then you can. Sorry, guys, my dad walked into my room. I hate that, but now, as you see, now you got your little binder here. And I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take just take these cards out. And then I'm going to, uh, where's the front? Okay. So I'm just going to take tape them together right here. I'm just going to take, take this, take this, and just put them together. So now I got an even bigger deck. So as you see, now I got an even bigger one. Hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this.